Okay, to assemble the body, first off I recommend you assemble the body first just to get uh, some practice before doing the neck because the neck has to be done very precisely whereas the body uh, it's purely aesthetics if it's uh, if it's not perfect it won't affect your play playability at all um, so first you'll see there's some guides that are on the file here to help you assemble it and you know you can do a test fit here um, just to make sure that everything's gonna fit the way you want it to and you can see if you do if you do it well the line disappears fairly well so before I got ready to glue here um, I roughed it up with my coarse sandpaper um, and I cleaned it out inside if there was any strings or anything at all you know get that out of there while you still can um, and other than that uh, there's very little to do as far as prep work goes to assemble the body now one thing I will say is talking about super glues here I've got two super glues here as an example um, one super glue this blue one here sets very very quickly which is great for a lot of things but not great for assembling um, your body and your neck on a ukulele um, because you want to have at least a little bit of time to adjust just in case it's slightly off so this super glue gives me you know five to ten seconds which is sufficient to get it um, just how I want it um, so I'll go ahead and glue this up so when you go and buy your super glue I would go ahead and buy a couple um, you know just the cheap super glues are all that I use um, I think the one I'm using was only a dollar or two um, and then um, take some spare filament and just you know glue them together and just kind of play with them and see if it works instantly or if you've got a little bit of time there um, but here I'm gonna go ahead and glue this now and all I do is I put just a tiny bit here it doesn't take a lot and obviously you do you do want to be a little bit quick about it you don't want a lot because what will happen is it'll it'll come onto your the front and it'll be shiny and it'll look you start to see where the joint was so once you do that just slip it on where you test fit it now you can see I got a drip there so I'm gonna have to do something about that later but you can see I was able to move it around just a little bit and it's starting to set now that's pretty good so then I'll just let that sit for a good long while you know before putting the strings on or anything I'll let it sit overnight apply some pressure for maybe 15 to 20 seconds here and that's it and already you can see you know um, that the joint is pretty well hidden um, so that's it